Bethany and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be planning out December 14th through December 20th in my hourly plum paper planner. And I am extra excited and looking forward to this week for several reasons. The first, it is my birthday week. My birthday is on the 17th of December. So looking forward to that. And then also all the stickers I'm using. So I'm gonna be using kit 28 from Alexander Nicole Plans. I think she sent me the entire um, kit, all of the pieces. So I'll show you what this one includes. We've got this sheet, also got this one with the thick washi and the date headers thinner washi, icons, boxes, more boxes, sidebar stuff, so pretty. And then also more boxes and appointment labels. So really, really excited for that this week. I also pulled in, I have some weekend banner strips from Planner Kate. So I'm thinking maybe this one would go with the kit well, I think I had a peach that I already used from this sheet. So I think maybe this green will work as well. And then, okay, I'm way too excited about this. So I have my um, scripts that I made on my printer and my silhouette. I like this because it's really nice and obviously custom to all the things I use. And I think it's gonna work out well for this week. And then also I printed these, they're squares. And these are for this bottom label with some kind of daily cleaning checklist. So I'm excited to try this out this week as well. All right, before I get ahead of myself, let's take a look at last week. I'll show you how that went. I actually wound up working in my daily for most of last week for like all the little detail to do's because I know that um, like some of my weeks, I was gonna flip, but it's a lot to flip through. So <laughs> some of my weeks I fill in every little line because I put everything I'm doing in this book. Um, but I put in some extra decorative things, which I really enjoyed in this spread. And I put most of my little tiny to-dos in my daily and that worked out really well for last week. And I referred to this every day to put my daily together as kind of a big picture in my planner. So I really like how this worked out. I'm loving all of the Christmas countdown days from Sammy Doodle. This kit is from Sammy Doodle and I really, really enjoyed it. This was awesome. Um, I actually did check that off. I did order groceries on Friday because I thought about moving it to Tuesday, but then I remembered that Friday for our grocery store, for whatever reason, that day is awesome for them actually being in stock with stuff. So um, I like to use shipped and when I order on Fridays, we get most of the things on the list and that's not always the case. When I order on Sundays, it's like, it feels like it's nothing on the list. It's like maybe 50%. So Fridays is our day. It's working out really well. All right. So let's go ahead and dive into this week. So as per usual, I think I'm going to start out with washi and then even actually maybe I'll start with my cleaning checklist thing at the bottom and then I can do like a thin washi over it. And then, yeah, we'll just see, see where it takes us. All right. So for the clean checklist, all of those came out of this book, Simply Clean by Becky Rabinchuk. Rabinchuk? I'm sure I'm butchering that, but um, this book has been really awesome about halfway through it. And so all the daily things are out of here. And then I'm also putting in some weekly cleaning tasks as well. And so I'll talk about that as I put these stickers down, but this was not out of my brain. This is out of this book. And so far I'm really liking it. All right. So here's the deal. Like I like to think of myself as a clean person, but as I've been getting rid of all the clutter, um, I am now seeing that there's a lot of cleaning to do as well. So it's one of those things where, you know, I've been like super, super decluttering. I think I've talked about that on here a bit and like it has been tons of stuff. We've done so many trips to donation. We have given things away. We sold a couple things. Um, it's been a lot of things just getting thrown out that are just old, broken, you know, old things that no one wants, like my old school work, stuff like that. And so the more I do that, the more I've been doing a lot of deep cleaning. Um, right now in our house, there has been like every single thing is something we either love, find beautiful or useful. And I know where pretty much every single thing that we own is like, that's how decluttered and organized it is. Um, everything has a purpose, everything has a place and it is uh, amazing. It's been a really nice hobby and even this is like a tangent, I guess, but um, it's even been helping with my fitness because as I'm decluttering, I'm moving around a lot more. Like I'm cleaning more, I am moving things. Again, just decluttering, walking around a lot more. So my step count, which was daily on average, like, you know, two or 3,000 steps some days, 
with this whole you know social distancing business is now back up to like between six and eight most days some days a little more even i'm also of course enjoying our our house a lot more and so that's been really nice but the more i declutter the more i'm seeing the dirt and so i've been now kind of moving to the next level which is deep cleaning and now i'm finding myself in like a position where i am i'm kind of like deep cleaning as i see stuff and i'm seeing stuff more easily but it's kind of helter skelter in that it's not like i don't have a method i'm just oh i see that it's it's dirty and then i like i said i deep clean i kind of go ham on it so i've been doing that and that's cool but i'm kind of looking for a way to even do like a better job of deep cleaning and then maintain and keep it clean. And I like to do that in an organized fashion because like I said, right now it's kind of just willy nilly <laughs> and that's cool. It's definitely better than not doing it, but I really just want to get organized and purposeful with it. And so I'm hoping this will help. So in the book, there are daily cleaning tasks to do. And so these are the daily ones. The other daily one that um, she recommends is decluttering. But like I said, I've super decluttered already, like super, super decluttered. And also I'm noticing that I naturally am decluttering every single day anyway. I'm getting at least one or two things more out of the house every single day, just because it's, it's kind of just what I do now. So I didn't feel the need to add that one to the list. And now with four checkboxes, it fits in this space really nicely. And this checkbox, I was thinking about it, and this is something you could even do without a silhouette. So if you just have a printer, you can print this on sticker paper and just cut out squares, right? So it makes it kind of easy. Um, I know that when I didn't have my cameo, I'd see things and I would think, oh, well, that's cool, but I can't do that because I don't have the thing. But um, that one would actually be pretty easy. So then on top of this are also weekly cleaning tasks. And those are things like, I think Mondays are bathrooms. Um, I think Thursdays are vacuuming, things like that, where it's like a thing every day. And the idea is that in kind of 10 minutes a day, you can keep your house pretty manageable. So I am just like really looking forward to trying that out and seeing how that works in my planner this week as well. Also, those little squares that I have at the bottom, those fit really well in the notes area of my daily as well. So I plan on sticking them there too. But yeah, those are kind of the updates as far as uh, the house declutter maintenance is going this week. Oh, tweezer update. So <laughs> you guys left some awesome suggestions for tweezers in the comments and I might wind up trying and purchasing those. But as I was organizing and decluttering, oddly enough, uh, my paint with diamonds set, I found another set of tweezers that I thought I would try. So this one came with one of the sets. And so I'm going to give this one a shot since I already have it. And then if I don't like it, I'll try something else. But um, so far it looks like this one actually does pinch, which uh, the other ones did not after Wesley. <laughs> kind of um, messed them up with this keyboard stuff. I don't know what he did to them to make them not work anymore. Cause I mean, they're tweezers, right? So yeah, I don't know. I kind of like the angle of the other ones I had. So I might be getting some more, we'll see. Cause these definitely don't have that angle feature. So the other thing I've been trying to keep up with around here is kind of Amazon and just other delivery boxes that are coming to the house. It's been kind of extreme. I think it was Thursday that I counted, we had eight boxes that arrived in six different deliveries. So that's how often people are coming to the house. And it starts early and it goes late. So like the first delivery is sometimes before seven o'clock in the morning. And then the last one is sometimes as late as nine o'clock PM. Like it is, crazy how much stuff, like I said, we're having ordered to the house and it's a lot of different things, right? So we're obviously with COVID trying to not go anywhere very much. Also, some things that I've tried to order, just like, I can't find, like it's hard to find things in the store lately. It's everything from, you know, some birthday presents, like I said, my birthday's on Thursday, but um, the things coming to the house are also Christmas presents and a little glitch getting that Friday off of the sheet. Okay. So yeah, I forget what I was saying. Present, basically, okay, yeah. So Christmas presents are coming to the house, household stuff's coming to the house. Um, it has been just kind of crazy. It's I'm ordering stuff, Loon's ordering stuff. And then we also have some guests, some family members that are coming to live with us for a little while while they move to the Minneapolis area, which we are very, very excited about. And they've been having some stuff shipped here too. So it's basically four adults having things ordered to the house 
And I swear some days it, it feels like it's every hour. It's not, but it definitely feels like there's someone at our door constantly with more stuff, which is fun. Don't get me wrong. It's fun to get stuff. But then, like I mentioned before, also trying to declutter and keep stuff out of the house with all of that has been a little bit of a challenge. So I'm just trying to stay on top of it and make sure that I am, as soon as boxes come in, I put them where they belong and break down the boxes. Obviously not if it's not for me, right? But at least my stuff, I'm breaking down the box right away. And I'm putting the box in the recycling, which is almost too overflowing, but I think that's better than just having them like stack them in the house, which is what, we usually do. And where did I put the sidebar stuff? Here we go. What's awesome about having sidebar stuff that fits this planner is I feel like I can really maximize the space. I have done a few where I try to use stuff that doesn't quite fit the space and it, it can work. Like you can use the smaller stickers, but then you lose out on like what makes this planner awesome. That's that it's freaking huge. So I kind of do like that. Just gonna cover this right here, I think, this time. There we go. Not sure what I'm gonna use this three line thing for yet, but I like it. So I'm gonna stick it there. And I think I am gonna do the habits down under my habits area. This one will be dinners. And the kit does on this sheet come with quite a bit of scripts as well. Um, so I really do enjoy that too, but I think I'm going to use the ones that I custom made this week just for fun. I don't know what's gonna fit here. Let me think about that. This kit is so pretty and I like that it's wintry. Um, and I've been doing, I did a holiday spread, kind of more holiday colors, I think it was last week. Yeah more kind of traditional. And then next week for Christmas, obviously that will be more traditional as well. But I thought this was kind of nice. I feel like they're more kind of birthday colors for this week. And I feel like I'm putting these down crooked. Let me fix it. All right, so that is looking pretty cool. I like how these habit trackers are organized. And then I think I need something else here. So I'm gonna maybe try the piece of thick washi here. I wonder if that would kind of cover, yeah, I think that's gonna work great actually. Oh yeah, I really like that. Especially like this gray with this gray just happened to work out pretty great. I'm actually gonna stick the dinner sticker up there before I forget what I'm doing. And while I'm over here, I'm just gonna quick write in our meals for the week as well. All right, so there are all of the meals and all of my habits down for the week. These are the mini habits I talk about more in my daily planner video. So I'm gonna be doing those, and then also the daily cleaning and then dinners. I'm looking forward to most of these meals and especially Thursday, because that's my birthday dinner and Wesley's gonna make his famous butter steak. Basically he makes a steak and he keeps pouring butter over it the whole time and it's amazing. All right, I think I'm gonna pop in a weekend banner over here. And I think that this, this one is going to kind of go with the colors in the snowflakes. All right, diving into some actual plans here on Monday, kids do not have school. They didn't have school last Monday either. And then we have all of their virtuals. It's a little irritating that they, it feels to me like they have a lot of day off, days off, but they already had this one scheduled. So it's not like it's anything, you know, crazy or out of blue. It just feels like they've had a lot of things canceled to allow for, you know, COVID discussions and planning. It's fine, they're still learning, but it just feels like a lot of days off. 12.15 on Monday, I do have a check-in with my coach. Let's do a label for that. And so at my 
check in. We just kind of talk about nutrition and my workout, stuff like that. And it's nice because it helps me to stay accountable. One o'clock, I've got a work meeting. Let's see, and then I'm thinking I'm probably gonna try working out. Maybe I should put the workouts, yeah, let's put them in a bigger block because it does take me a little bit longer to like change and shower and actually do the workout. So I'm gonna do that on, let's do that like four o'clock, maybe 4.30 on Monday. I think I hear Phoebe barking in another delivery. It's just one of those things. I'm gonna do a full workout this day, at least that's the plan. And we've been doing dinner like consistently at six o'clock, so maybe I can actually use some of the spin washi to kind of mark off dinner. I don't usually do that because usually we have plans and things that, um, you know, we're out and about, but we're not going anywhere lately. So we can certainly do something fun like this. It's a cool little mix up there. And let's see what else. I do have some training sessions for work as well this week. So and I think someone had asked in one of my last videos why I have so many trainings. And it's because um, they're usually trainings that I'm giving. Um, I work as a training specialist. And so I teach people how to use software all day. And it is awesome. I really, really do enjoy my job like working with people and it's it's a nice blend of me for working with people and then there's also some like admin time and lots of collaboration so it's I really do like my job so I've got some trainings here going on Tuesday I think I have some Wednesday as well but this week is a little bit slower for trainings not necessarily slower at work but just plenty to do but um slower for trainings just because I think most people are kind of gearing up for holidays, stuff like that. People are taking off. So it's probably not the best time to schedule a whole ton of trainings is what my general understanding is in most cases. All right. So now I'll just write in the times here for each of these and then we'll see what's next. All right. And on Tuesday, we actually have a dentist appointment. Um, my kids and I do, and that is like 430, I think. And before 20, but we've been trying to get um, the kids and myself into the dentist since gosh, April was our first, was when the appointment was. And then obviously COVID, everything was like canceled and shut down, rescheduled. And then when the time we rescheduled for it came around, our hygienist or one of the people in the office actually was sick and they were asking, do you want to still continue with the appointment? I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> I think it was scheduled for um, September was the reschedule. And so I was like, um, no, if they're sick, we're going to play it safe and not do that. But it was then rescheduled and it was rescheduled for again, all the way out here in December. So I'm really hopeful that this appointment actually happens because it's been long overdue for, excuse me, myself and the boys. Okay. And I think I'm going to do another workout here on Wednesday as well. Okay, well, I'm still here at this kind of in the evening type of an area. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put in here the weekly cleaning tasks as well. I'm gonna put those right above. And my hope is that maybe I'm gonna use these like one every other. Yeah, uh, so I'm kind of gonna cluster the weekly cleaning tasks near the daily ones. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to use these as kind of little check boxes every other and see if that's going to work. Okay. So kind of do like this, checkbox, circle, checkbox. I think that'll look cool. Okay, so now I got to remember the order that they all went in. I think it was bathrooms is first. I might have to check the book. I think it's bathrooms is Monday. And I think it was dusting on Tuesday. and then vacuuming on Wednesday. And part of the idea that she talks about in the book 
is you're kind of cleaning your house top to bottom as you go. So like dust or bathrooms makes sense to go before dusting, but dusting definitely before you vacuum so you can dust everything and then vacuum the floors the next day. So the order kind of makes sense. And I like the logic and I'm sure this comes naturally to some people, but just my house has never been this clean and I like it and I kind of want to keep it that way. Checkbox and then the next one was before I forget, I'm just going to finish with these. <sighs> Wash the floors on Thursday. Okay, and then I think Friday is meant to be a catch-all day. So basically she said sometimes things get busy. And so the catch-all day is meant if you miss something, you can still kind of catch up and get that thing done on the day you missed it, which I like that kind of flexibility because life happens and it's just good to have that buffer. And then Sunday is more or less a day off, just a regular like daily cleaning tasks on that day. So I just put rest because I want to have a word there, like I have a word on every other day. Okay, so that gets through this. Now working on to the rest of the week here. Oh, I almost forgot a couple things at the beginning of the week. Still I need to put on. I'm gonna use one of these little icons here for trash day. Hope you could see it. And then uh, let's see here. There we go. Then the other thing was ordering groceries and doing meal planning here on Wednesday. So I'm, gonna, I'm going to put the order in. Well, maybe I'll do the meal planning on, on Wednesday and then Thursday. Yeah, that makes more sense. So let's do, here I'll do meal planning on Wednesday, because that's usually what I do. Thursday, I'll order them, then Friday they can get delivered. And that's probably another delivery. <laughs> and that's exactly what it was. Okay, <laughs> what was I doing? All right, I think I was gonna do, let's do this um, computer one for ordering groceries on Thursday. All right, there's order groceries there. And then we'll do a grocery delivery here on Friday. And that's gonna be usually, I like in the afternoons been working out really well. There it is. I tell you, I'm like struggling with getting this planner in the shot today. I feel like it's been kind of zoomed out lately. So I was trying to get a little closer, but I don't, I don't know if it's working. Okay, so training's going on last part of the week. I do have a nine o'clock. On Thursday so I'll just stick that in up here and then a couple appointments on Friday let's see Chris has an allergy shot appointment actually I think this is more like 10 so I think I need to see if Loon can take them and yeah actually the more I think about it Loon will definitely need to take Chris, or I'm going to have to move something because I also have a work meeting smashed in there as well. And that's at 10 o'clock. And I think actually his appointment is not 10. I think it's like 1030. So yeah, something's going to have to move there. The work meeting will definitely happen, but I think that I will need to, I might need to move my eye appointment. So, so we'll see. It's not the end of the world if I don't have it. Um, but we'll see if Chris, if Loon can take Chris to his allergy shots and then kind of figure it out from there. All right, and then the big thing that's happening this weekend is like I said, we have family arriving. So that I'm just gonna put a big old sticker in the middle of the day on Saturday. I'm not sure what time they're getting here, but I am really, really exciting, excited that they're coming to stay with us for a while. I like the guys, but I think it's gonna be fun to have some more people around and um, more family. And I think it's gonna be really nice especially with the holidays so that is happening on saturday and that is pretty much the week all right so once i opened it out i realized that i completely forgot to put the strip for dinner so i added that in also added plan next week and then a full box to mark my birthday on thursday i really like these stickers that came with a planner that i got from aaron condren and so i'm just going to stick some of these on for my birthday i just can't decide if i want to do a happy birthday banner or if I wanna do um, one of these that says happy birthday here. So maybe, 
Okay, I think I'm gonna do this banner and then also maybe like a cake and one of these birthday stickers here. So maybe here. Now, I love my birthday. I know some people don't like their birthdays, but I love my birthday so much. I think it's so fun to celebrate and I don't know, I just like my birthday quite a bit. Always have, probably always will. Let's do this green one since it kind of goes with the teal up here too. If I could not rip it, that would be great. Put a little celebrate sticker up there as well, even though um, we're not really going anywhere. We're just gonna have a nice dinner at home and maybe some cake, something like that. Stick this peach cupcake in right there. I don't know, is it overkill? It's my birthday, I don't care. I think it's gonna be fine. Okay, so that is it everyone. Thank you so much for joining today. This is a really, really fun spread. Lots of exciting things coming up this week. My birthday, family's coming. I think it's going to be awesome. I'm really excited to try out these daily cleaning habits as well. I'm hoping that will help keep me on task. Like I said, I've been kind of like just doing stuff willy nilly, which is fine, but I'd rather have it on a schedule because that's what we do here in planner community, right? Is we like to have everything on a schedule. So I'm excited to try that out this week. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today. So thank you so much for joining. I hope you have an awesome day and awesome week and we will chat soon. Bye guys.